Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, this project is way overdue. I purchased this truck about nine years ago, and when I bought it, this is the tailgate arrangement that it came with, and I've never really liked it from the very beginning. And I've been meaning to change this thing out as soon as I got the truck, but of course, that never happened because it's a work truck, and you never think about doing that. But the day has come, nine years later, and you can see what's happened here. The, truck, uh, the tailgate is virtually coming apart. I'm losing hardware. The wood is worn down. I've lost the caps off of here. And so now is the time I'm going to get this thing fixed. Now you guys are probably saying this is an easy fix. Well, we can just cut out some plywood and screw that to the very back of this and uh, that'll call it good. But what fun would that be? That's the easy way. No, I got to do it the hard way. The fun way. The project way. So this is what I got in mind. I'm going to take some hardwood, I've got some 1x6 ash is what I chose to use. I'm going to cut it down to the right length. I'm going to put three pieces in here, closing this gap in here, leaving maybe no more than a quarter inch, maybe 3 16 of an inch between the two boards. I'm going to run it about an inch and a quarter taller than these metal rails right here because I'm going to put a metal cap on the top of that and hopefully that's going to solve this problem right here. They'll be able to drag stuff in and out and I'm not going to have any problems with the wood wearing down like it is here. Um, and then also I've got some new caps for the tops of these metal posts. We're going to be putting those on as well. This is going to be a great little project. So let's get started. So I went to my local supply hard hardwood supply store and rummaged through the, all the hardwood down there and there's quite a selection. And I chose this ash right here. Now these, these are about one inch by about eight inch pieces and uh, you know, they, they have very little knots and it's got some nice grain to it. And I've never worked with it before, so I thought I'd give it a try. So here we are over at the uh, compound miter saw and I'm just cutting, cutting the boards to length right now. And uh, I've got quite a few of them to cut. And once I got them all cut to length, it's time to run them through the table saw on my uh, new table saw table and using my new fence extension. Everything works really well uh in that part of the deal there and cutting all the boards to the widths that i need and once i got all that done um it was time to put a nice uh, quarter rounding over edge on all of the boards and i'm just using my uh, palm router for that and went around all the edges all the way around and it just softened it up really nice and then I just went uh, with my palm sander and started with about 150 grit and went around everything and then when I was done with the 150 I switched over to the 220 and once that was done everything was nice and smooth and these boards are, are really flat there's there's no warping in them at all it, uh, so far so good working with this ash wood it, it seems to be really nice wood then I chose to use some boiled linseed oil on here now you know, tongue oil probably is the same thing or similar to, I, I don't really know, uh, but uh, I happen to have uh, quite a bit of this boiled linseed oil. That's what I used on all the boards. Uh, I put two coats of everything, or uh, two coats on every board uh, using this little sponge applicator. Uh, the sponge applicator sure puts it on nice, nice and heavy and uh, nice thick coats and worked out really well and I put a nice finish on everything and I'm sure it's going to be pretty durable. There they all are, uh, ready for installation. Okay, so we got our new boards all cut and uh, got a good coat of boiled linseed oil on them for protection. Uh, so the next step is starting to replace the old ones and putting the new stuff on. So I think I'm gonna start over here on this side uh, to, for experiment. I wanna give it a try and I was thinking, I don't wanna take these boards off completely I think I'm gonna leave the top board on and I'm gonna start at the bottom first because it is given that if I take everything off then these uh, uh, metal brackets right here might move around on me. So I'll leave the top one on, start at the bottom, put the bottom one on, then take the top off and then work my way up and we'll see how that goes. The first thing we gotta do is get all the stuff out of the back of the truck so we can get started. So let's do it. 